All right, let's do a quick one. First of all, remember to turn off the sound. Yep, test, test one, two. Okay, I'm live. All right, I'm just doing a live edit of a tutorial using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. So here goes my footage. Let's import import footage my footage is in the Samsung T3 drive under video pad time lapse okay there's only one clip the clip that I shot just now live streamed just now okay right it's over here so let's just bring this straight into the timeline expand the video okay we can make this smaller now okay let's do a quick chop chop one okay let's start speaking from here right play I'm holding down the control button, command button on the Mac. Okay. How? Okay, I, I believe you can't hear what I'm doing, so let's go into some do some adjustments. Because I can hear it and you can't hear it. Hmm. Turn this on. Playback. Okay, you can't hear it. Let me adjust. Okay, that recently that occurred. Okay, you Last can hear week, it now. Okay, I shot this with my Panasonic Let's FZ continue with the edit. And what it How's does is mic? it takes oh, several photos. My mic is over here. Okay, how many yep. photos? Let me show you. Alright. Okay, in terms of hundreds or two hundred and over, plenty of photos. Let's go back to the beginning. This is what you missed. How to create a time-lapse video from photos in VideoPad. In VideoPad, let's do a split here. OK, 
Okay, it looks for the next clip. All right, you can do this in most modern cameras, but let's say you forgot to press the make video button in your camera, then you'll get a bunch of photos, like hundreds or two hundreds, hundreds of photos which you have to convert to time lapse yourself. Okay, what I mean by that, let me show you. Okay. First, for those who don't know what a time lapse is, let me switch off my title and show you what a time lapse is. Play. Okay, this is a time lapse of the res. Okay, right. From here. I'll start from here. From photos in video pad. Okay, this is a time lapse of the recent super blue blood moon. Okay. Um. All right. It's not blue, but it's bloody red moon. Okay, that recently that occurred last week. Okay, I shot this with my Panasonic FZ two five zero zero, and what it does is it takes several photos. Okay, how many photos? Okay, cut here. Okay, I would like to add music, so just put some space. Um, yep, I'm going to copy this. Copy, oops. Make a copy of this for the music to start. Okay, let's go and grab my music. I like to edit with music first. Okay, uh, YouTube. It should be an exciting music. Let's see now. Go to Creator. Okay, why don't I show you what I'm doing, right? I'm going to Creator account, Creator Studio. Scroll down to create. Let's find a suitable music. Mm. Let's. Oh, there's a new one. Let's listen. Okay, let's do it. Just a happy, happy music. Um, break time. Duty. No, happy B. Oh no, no. Yeah, not much about the pool. Okay, not happy now. Inspirational. Inspirational music. What is this? I think it's okay, right? Let's quickly download. Good practice. I like to transfer my file into the same folder that I'm doing my project. So right here will be over time. Okay, over time by whom? Over time by byte tracks. You'll hear that music more often later on. And uh, let's bring this up a little bit. Okay, and where's my music? Okay, it's all messed up. All right, over here. Let's bring my music into here okay let's get this right first mm, yep. okay in video pad yeah video pad one more time let's listen to the beginning how to create a time lapse video from photos in video pad Okay, 
let's speed up my video clip, press the R, half the speed, in video pad. Okay, about 5 bits and then trim away, wait let's see where it ends. Okay, let's end there and then we continue with the rest of the clips. Over here, the music will drop. Okay, let's do a cut here and then let's scroll down. Let's put this down to about 21, my favorite 21 level. And then we put a cross fade over here, effects cross. Cross, constant power. Okay. Okay, this is a time lapse of the recent yep. Super Blue Blood Moon. Alright, it's not blue but it's bloody red moon. Okay, that recently that occurred. Okay, it's not bloody but red moon. Enough bloody red moon. Because I talk too much. It's not interesting. I'm challenging myself, I'm trying to do it as fast as possible. No perfection. Okay, that recently that occurred last week. Okay, I shot this with my Panasonic FZ2500. And what it does is it takes several photos. Okay, How many photos? Let me show you. Okay, in terms of hundreds or two hundred and over plenty of photos right and then you combine them you get motion picture like this okay once again this is a time lapse, time lapse video a motion picture of a very slow moving item okay it's moving up the sky it's rising up and my camera had to, had to catch up with it okay so so in this live stream, I will show you again how to make a time-lapse video from photos in VideoPad. Okay, VideoPad is a free video editing software that you can download online. Okay, it looks like that. Let's go to our... Okay, let's go okay, it looks like It's going to be a very that. quick tutorial. Skip all the rest. Let's go to our okay, from here. All the rest just skip. Right, that's my thinking process. Okay, and play back. But it's bloody red moon. Let's go to our instruction sheet. Let's go to our instruction sheet. Let's go to our instruction. Okay, instruction sh sheet. No need sheet. Okay, laser pointer, right. First of all, we have to transfer all the photos. Okay, first of all, first of all. Instruction. First of all, we have to transfer all the photos that we want to convert into time lapse into a single folder. Okay, good. And then follow the steps in video pad follow these steps in video pad right so what do we mean by transfer all photos to be converted okay okay so what do we mean by okay Go quick one trim into a single folder so what do we mean by transfer all photos to be converted okay okay let me show you my folder you, whenever you have a camera okay good whenever you have a camera okay the rest on yep okay let's make the screen a little bit bigger now we don't need to see the audio save I can feel some jittering okay let's oh it's hanging File, save before it crashes. 
save okay converted you, whenever you have a camera most likely you'll be taking other pictures as well which you don't want to convert into time lapse so to make it easier for video pad okay transfer all the footage all the photos that you want to convert the time lapse into a single photo which I've done here into a single photo to a single photo which I've done here did I say photo a single photo which I've done here folder I call it time lapse okay Call it time lapse. I call it time lapse. Okay, over here, cut. I want to start from here. Easier for video pad. Okay, transfer all the. So to make it easy. To make it easier. Okay, do on this one. Photos to be converted. So to make it easier for video pad. Okay. Transfer all the transfer all the just I talk too much during the live stream so I don't want all those to be converted. Okay, transfer all what's it? To be converted. Okay, transfer all the footage, all the photos that you want to convert the time lapse into a single photo, which I've done here. I call it time lapse. You can call it any other name. Right, so I can call it any other name. Okay, good. Right, so click on it. Okay, inside time lapse folder is all the pictures, individual pictures of moons in different positions. Right, these are all individual pictures. Okay, we're going to combine them to form a video. Right, you can see. Wait, let me go, go to the bigger moon. Okay, you can see each picture, the moon is in a different position, right? Individual pictures. So again, moons in different position. Okay, and... Okay. Let's take this one. Um, a video, right? You can see... Okay, I think we just totally don't want this. It's understood that it time lapse. You can call it any other name. It's understood. You transfer your photos that you want to convert into a folder. Okay, no need to explain. So again, these are JPEGs, still photos. Yeah, no need to explain. Now, Talk let's go back into Instagram. Right, so you have transferred all your photos that you want to convert into time lapse into a single Repetition. folder. Now, next step one. Step one, okay. One. Click, split, delete. You can call it any other name. Step one go to File, Add Images as Video. So let's go into Video Pad right now. Images as Video. Okay, I just read a sentence. Top main menu, click on File. Go to the top. Go to the top. Okay, the instructions now. So delete this switching part. S oh, it's already one minute. Okay, never mind, just keep going. S video. Go to the top main menu. Click on file. Go down and look for add images as video. Click on it. Okay. Done. Done one instruction. The rest, I don't have to listen. Let's go to step two. Step two. Next step will be number two. Number two. Okay, explain this. When did I start saying number two? Here. Number two. Okay, number two. Yeah, right. Click on it. Number two. Click on it. Number two. Browse and select the time 
Labs folder. Folder. Okay, folder. Then I switch over. Browse and click on browse. Okay, so click on browse. Okay, trim. Browse. And select the time lapse folder. Okay, let's. Undo. I accidentally cut the audio. Yeah, okay, that's bad. Okay, let's trim this. Space over here. Browse and select the time lapse folder. Okay, I'm already in the time lapse folder, so for demonstration's sake, let me. Okay. Folder. Okay, select time select time lapse folder. No need to go on further. Any smart person will understand. Yeah, I'm already in the time lapse folder, so for demonstration's sake, let me go into the main directory. Talking too much. And then from here, I drill down. Demonstrating too much. Into my folder. Okay, where's this. my super moon? Okay, my super moon is here. Wait, let me distract for a little while. The total clip is about 10 minutes long. Okay, it's already not very long. I'm gonna cut down all the crap. And then the folder is in Panasonic. There you go. My time lapse folder selected. This is all my still pictures of moons in different positions. Okay. Next step. Okay, we are still in step two, right? Now wait, step, step three. Two. Step three, remove. No, step two. Uh, not yet, not yet. Still in step two. Okay, once that is done. Once that is done, once you have selected the folder that you want to com convert to time lapse, select choose. Click on choose button. Okay, I said it twice. Select choose. Select choose. Okay, I'll say click on choose. So here, exit. Okay, let's listen from beginning. No folder. Click steps. on choose button. Okay, one more time. Select the time lapse folder. Click on choose button. What do you see after that? Button. What? Okay, now my button. click on choose button. Okay, and then you will see under the file name, you'll see a, a whole series of photos, images. Okay, you know me. right? And then you can actually play back from here, but don't bother because it's not in real time. The processing time is very, very, very slow. Very, very slow. So I will not play back from here. So the next step, number three. Okay, number three. Number, number three. Fix this. Number three. Remove unwanted files. Well, all the files. Okay. Files. Well, although I have already selected all the photos that I want, but if you notice, there's two files here which is which are not photos. Okay. But if you notice that. Okay, somewhere here. Split. Delete. If you notice, there's two files here which is which are not photos which is ours here which 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 are not not which are not not, which are not, not okay let's cut nicely there was here which are not for which are not let's do it nicely Here, which are not photos. Okay, I'm going to remove. All right. Okay, I'm going to remove them. Right. Click on this one and this one. Okay. 
just demonstrated. Click on this one and this one. Photos. Click on this one and this one. Select them and click the remove button. Okay, there's a delay here. Click on this one, this one. One and this one. Click this one and this one. Okay, stop there. And then after that, next go straight to click the remove button. And this one, click the remove but button. Okay, shut and shut. Split. What's next? Okay, they should be gone, right? So the rest should be photos. Just make a quick check. And the numberings are in sequence. Yep, they're all photos. Okay, stereo. Next step. Step. Four. Okay, step four. Step four. Step four. You notice I, I did it. I do my trim and splits and delete very very quickly. Button. Very very quickly because I have shortcuts. Button. Step four. Type in the frame rate. Okay, there's a delay between step four and typing the frame rate. So. Be very critical, cuts are very important. Or type in the frame rate, try 10 frames per second first. Okay, first, right. Okay, so here goes, there is a selection for frame rate, or rather you type in frame rate. By default, actually when you first do it, it's 25. But for time lapse, you may not want 25. You may want something starting from 10. And again, it's not a half, hard and fast rule 10, right? But the most frequent figure is 10 here. You can go 15, you can go 20. Okay, it depends on, on the speed that you want. But for now, I select 10. If I don't like, I can come back here and change it later on, right? For now, but for now, now, okay. But for now, I'm going to delete this one. And first, I select ten. If I don't like, I can come back here and change it later on, right? Okay, right. Okay. right. Remove the right. Why must I say right? Let's go straight to the next step. Start all over again. Okay, 10. Step number f Okay, okay, step. Step. Let's do a split. Delete. Play back. Change it later on. Step number 5. Click import. Click import. Okay. Well, so far away. All right. Over here. Click the import button. Okay, let's click the import button. Port. Click the import button. Alright. Should I show it? Did I click it? Wait, click the import button. Click. Button. Okay, then it should disappear. Then it appears. Okay. And split. I'm looking visually just now. Make sure there's some action going on. Not just follow the audio. Okay, there's a new audio here. Right, and you start importing. And if you can see, there's a green bar here that is slowly rendering. Okay, no need to show this. Let it render, we can still do the next step. No need, no need, no need. Number six. Okay, go straight to number Some six. Button. Number six. Drag the timeline. Drag the time let drag the time. Let me read that again. Number six. Okay. Alright. Number six, number six, drag ah. the time. I wish I was a very good presenter, but I guess I'm not. 
Number six, drag the time-lapse clip from the video bin tab to the timeline. Okay, good. Let's do a cut here. What did I say? Okay, what this means is, you can see the video tab here. Video tab, drag the time-lapse clip from the video tab into the timeline. Alright, I start from drag time lapse clip from the video tab. Drag your tab. It makes so many repetition. Hmm. Okay. Then tab to the timeline. Drag the time lapse clip from the video tab into the time. Okay, just say from the video tab. Time lapse clip. Just straight away say from the to the timeline from the video tab into the timeline. Okay, good enough. And drop it. And drop it. All right. You can notice there's no audio because these are photos. Okay. Photos have no okay, it's understood. audio. Okay. Now you can you can try playing back from here and then you see the result. Right? Yep. Quite nice. Okay, and then it starts building. Okay, right. So if you're happy with it, my music is ending. Final step. Final step. <laughs> oh, I left oh. the final step out. Oh. Let oh. me click this in. Okay. Step number seven, export. Wait. This presentation is done in a hurry, right? Okay, last step. Step number seven, export. Okay, here, 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 here. okay, cut all that crap away. Full of crap. Okay. Okay, last step. Step number seven, export video. Okay, export video, stop there. Let's go back into Listen. our video pad. Okay, click on export video over here, or you can go into file. Okay, let's do the proper one. Okay. Go into file. File. Or you can go into. Or you can go. Or you can go into. Go in the file. You okay over here is you video or you can go in the file. Oh I don't know all oh. you can go in the file. Okay. Let's close the cap. So you can go in the file export video. Give it a file name. I okay, give it a file name. File name. So, and give it a file name. I call it. Uh, give it a file name. I call it. Give it a file name. I. I no need to I. Just say file name. I call it our uh, Luna Luna whoops Luna Luna Eclipse. Okay, all the boo-boos. Time is an lapse. Right, and then browse the folder that I want. Lapse. Okay, I think we can do it. Fast, fast motion here. Fast one, a fast motion. Okay, from here until the whole, until the whole title is keyed in. Right, 
then browse. Okay, over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, this audio we don't want. Okay, the one I'm keying the title we don't want. Right, and then browse. Okay, let's speed this up. Very, very fast, right? Close the gap. And give it a file name. Right, and then browse the folder that I want to store in. Okay, browse the. Let's cut the gap. Cut the gap. Cut the crap. Okay, let's see. Cut it. Right. The folder that I want to store. No right, and then browse the folder that I want to store in. Right. Uh, right. Don't say right. Right. Uh, as good practice, store in the same project folder together with the rest of the footage. Right. So this is the same footage, same folder that I took the raw footage from. So I'm gonna save it into here and click save. I'm gonna save it into here, right? So I'm gonna save. Okay, don't have to save much. Still need a quick tutorial. Store in. So I'm gonna save it into here. Into here. And click save. Here and click save. This part a bit of delay. And click save. Okay, it's not saving the video yet, you're just naming the folder to save in. Right, and then preset, I like to select YouTube 1080p. Okay, and preset folder to save in. Right, and then preset. Preset, I like to select YouTube 1080p. Okay, by default it's MPEG 4. Okay, and um, again by default is 1080p is nine. The resolution is 1920 times 1080. Okay, I leave this alone. NTSC frame rate. Okay, nothing is done there, so That's we'll it. skip all Next those. Press create. Okay, press create. The next step is the next step is delete all this. P. The next step is press create. There's a bit of delay, right? The next step is press create. Is press create. And then let it create. Create. And this thing show up. Okay. Um. Okay. Then what's next? Okay. Then you will start creating <coughs> the video. All right. Well, in order to save time, I've already created the video, and this is what you get. Okay. This is what you get. Oh, it's the end. Okay, next. This hmm, there's a bit of delay there. This is what you get. Okay, final one. Call to action. Right, so this video don't This is what you get. Yeah. Okay, let's some music. Okay. Split. Right, so if you like this video. Okay, the call to action. 
if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and share this is adrian from videolane.com signing out Okay, the music ends beautifully here as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I don't have to do much extra work. Most of it is done. Now just put a fade out here. Okay, how long is this clip? This clip is 24 seconds because this is where I squeeze in the end credits inside YouTube. I notice there's some lines on top. What are those? Okay. What are those? Oh, oh, these are not lines. This is the main menu. Okay. Do we need the main menu? Yes, it's part of the instructions. So. Yep. Video lane. lane dot com. Okay, let's play. Do I need to put something? Yes, I need to put credits here. Okay, for credits, I will use. I will use. I'll go to. Let's save us. Save. Go to graphics. This graphics here. All right, and let's choose essential graphics. Let's choose um um credits. Yep, these are nice credits. Put it on top of here. Oh, control. Okay, put it here. Stretch it, stretch it some more. Okay, what shall we put it? Okay, here, um, music. Over time by vibe tracks Adrian video image. No, 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 not Adrian video image. This is the video lane production. Video lane dot com. And here I'll put there's no camera so you know what it's it's annoying let's let's not use let's not use this it's too much here let's do my traditional traditional method Escape, escape. Okay, it's slowing down. Let's save it. Okay, I will not use graphics. Delete. I will use text instead. Text I'll type in here straight away. Okay, what do I usually put? Um, Adrian. Hmm. Okay, I usually start off with like and subscribe. 
Okay, you cannot see, right? Make it bigger. Come on, respond. Okay, there's a lot of this hanging around. Okay, don't care. Like and sub. Like and subscribe for more video pet tutorials. Okay. Recorded with OBS on Mac book pro and next credit music over time by vibe tracks video lane.com branding okay I want this to be bigger okay, let's go back there's a little bit of delay going going back okay bear with me creating more and more Oh, no wonder. Okay. <clears throat> right. All right. So let's go back to editing. Okay, then. Let's go down. Let's go back to graphics. Essential graphics. Edit. Okay, there's too many of this. Delete. 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 If you don't know what I'm doing, please ask me in the comment section because I'm trying to edit as quick as possible. This is live editing, allowing you to look over my shoulder when I edit. Okay. Can you see if there is spelling error okay that's the problem with this um escape uh okay, tilde oh there's another tilde i guess sub scribe there's one more s sub subscribe c sub Scribe for more. Okay, let's switch back to this and for this particular one, let's make it bigger. Right, text size. I want my text size to be bigger. Which one is the text size? This one? Yep. Okay, and this one can remain small, bring it down. Just a bigger bit with a gap. Okay, just to verify, let's take a closer look. Like and subscribe for more video pack tutorials. Recorded with OBS on MacBook Pro. Music over time by Vibe Tracks video lane.com okay that's all i need to credit now let's view the whole thing let's go back to editing mode push up the timeline bring my time my play hit to the beginning and listen oh wait, 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 wait. the ending music rise signing out 
sending out then music rise up okay let's get over here let's cut bring up bring the volume back to zero put in a cross fade okay let's listen this is adrian from videolane.com signing out too soon too soon okay signing up let me say the signing out first all right somewhere here slip ripple trim signing out okay and the title appears signing out okay let's put a cross fit here signing out nice okay when i listen through i'm going to raise the volume when i when there's no speaking right but now let's listen through how to create a time lapse video from photos in video pad okay this is a time okay i'd like to add one more thing here oh subscribe Okay, put one more here. Subscribe. Be very obsessed with subscribe. Okay, switch back to arrow. Graphics mode. Edit. Make it bigger. Okay, just a reminder to subscribe. Centralize, centralize. Okay, go back to editing mode. So up here, let's add cross fade. One more time. Let's watch. Bit safest. Watch. Time lapse video from photos in video pad. Okay, this is a time lapse of the recent super blue blood moon. All right, it's not blue, but it's bloody red moon. Let's go to our instruction. First of all, we have to transfer all the photos that we want to convert into time lapse into a single folder so what do we mean by transfer all photos to be converted okay transfer all the footage all the photos that you want to convert the time lapse into a single photo which i've done here i call it time lapse you can call it any other name step one go to file add images as video go to the top main menu click on file go down and look for add images as video click on it number two browse and select the time-lapse folder click on browse and select the time-lapse folder click on choose number three remove unwanted files if you notice there's two files here which are not photos click on this one and this one click the remove button step Four, type in the frame rate. Try 10 frames per second first. I select 10. If I don't like, I can come back here and change it later on. Step number five, click import. Click the import button. Number six, drag the time-lapse clip. Yep, there was a silence there. Okay. Very quick one. Split. Split. Volume up. Crossfit. Crossfit. Did I miss a silence? No, this was the first silence. Port. 
click the import button. Number six, drag the A bit too loud, right? So let's go down a little bit. Zero. Number six. Yeah, very loud. About two. 1.67. Number 6, drag the time-lapse clip from the video bin tab to the timeline from the video tab into the timeline and drop it and drop it and then something happened here silence again okay, go up, not too high now drop it okay last step step number seven export video you can go into the file export video and give it a file name right and then browse the folder that I want to store in so I'm gonna save it into here and click save preset I like to select YouTube 1080p the next step is press create this create. create okay another silence here and ends, ends here All right up a little bit at cross fade cross fade create this is what you get. Okay, I haven't finished talking, then the music come up, so... This is what you get. If you like this... Okay, another music rise here. This is what you get. Get. Okay, music rise from here. Music drop from here, okay. And okay, save. You get. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. This is Adrian. I think let's put this in front. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I think uh, it will appear when I say subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. This is Adrian from Videolane.com signing out. Okay, save and listen. How to create a time-lapse video from photos in VideoPad Okay, this is a time-lapse of the recent super blue blood moon Alright, it's not blue but it's bloody red moon Let's go to our instruction First of all we have to transfer all the photos that we want to convert into time-lapse into a single folder. So what do we mean by transfer all photos to be converted? Okay, transfer all the footage, all the photos that you want to convert to time-lapse into a single photo, which I've done here. I call it time-lapse. You can call it any other name. Step one, go to file, add images as video. Go to the top main menu, click on file, go down and look for add. 
Okay. Since I'm on uh, Premiere Pro and not other software, I like to do this extra step. Okay, I like to multi multi compressor to enhance my audio. Multi compressor. Go into go into here and add okay, where is effects control go in and enhance my voice let's change it to broadcast close listen to my voice oh to create a time-lapse video from photo so there's more oomph Right, so I'm gonna copy this, copy, and I'm gonna select the whole lot, whole lot, and paste attributes. Yep, only the multiband compressor, and let's listen from the beginning. Wait, save for save. How to create a time lapse video from photos in VideoPad. Okay, this is a time lapse of the recent super blue blood moon. All right, it's not blue, but it's bloody red moon. Let's go to our instruction. First of all, we have to transfer all the photos that we want to convert into time lapse into a single folder. So, what do we mean by transfer all photos to be converted? Okay, transfer all the footage, all the photos that you want to convert to time lapse into a single photo which I think I think I better put a caption here I see the wrong word time lapse into a single photo into a single folder into a single photo which... damn okay quick one into a single folder change this go back into tilde key into a single folder put this in front of my mouth okay and uh, Can't read the words, so let's go into graphics, edit, and add shadow, add a stroke, add a shadow. Because the stroke should be black color. Shadow is there already, right? So let's increase the stroke a little bit more. Oops. Okay, let's see the effect. Photo, which I've done here. Oh, heaven. In two. Which I've done. Okay, when I say into, then the text appear. Into a single photo. Into a single photo. Okay, the text should end there. Let's watch. Into a single photo. Do a single photo, which I've done here. I call it time lapse. Okay, I cover my mouth there, right? That should clear me of anything you can call it any other name step one what happened call it any other name step one go to file add images as video go to the top 
main menu, click on file, go down and look for add images as video. Click on it. Number two, browse and select the time-lapse folder. Click on browse and select the time-lapse folder. Click on choose. Number three, remove unwanted files. If you notice there's two files here which are not photos. Click on this one and this one. Click the remove button. Step four, type in the frame rate. Try 10 frames per second first. I select 10. If I don't like, I can come back here and change it later on. Step number five, click import. Click the import button. Number six, drag the time-lapse clip from the video bin. Okay, spoke too soon. Let's whipple trim this. Number six, drag the time-lapse clip from the video bin tab to the timeline. From the video tab into the timeline and drop it. Yep, nice timing. Okay, last step. Step number seven, export video. You can go into file, export video, and give it a file name. Right, and then browse the folder that I want to store in. So I'm going to save it into here and click save. Preset, I like to select YouTube 1080p. The next step is press create. This is what you get. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. This is Adrian from Videolane.com signing out. It's done, it's done. Let's export, save first and export. And then you'll find this video on my YouTube channel, Video Lane, V-I-D-O-L-A-N-E, right? Export media. And YouTube, turn it. Okay, put it into Let's call it the uh, video pad time lapse tutorial. All right, let's save it into desktop. No, 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 it's on the Samsung T3 drive. And here. Okay, save, save, all right, and the rest, I won't change anything, it's all set nicely, or just a queue. Oh, you didn't see, okay, I'll, I'll do that again, should I? Hmm because it's outside my screen. Anyway, the demo is over. You'll see the complete video on my track. What am I talking about? This is what happens when I edit. My brains will just be fully focused and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe for more live video editing with me, Adrian Lee. See ya.